What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert. Back to our normal start a new character. This one we're gonna finish. I'm not giving up. We're not we're not stopping the videos until we finish it to 56. I will be getting it to 56 because that is always the goal. We get them to 56, get their awakening, play around a little bit with their awakening, and then we start a new character. Um the only character that has not been like that is Sork, and I will have more videos on Sork in the coming days. Uh, and Sork will probably be the main focus of the streams that I do. Just grinding out Sork, trying to get her to, you know, a playable level. So, this is Valkyrie Brunhild. Uh, it is based off of the card. So, yeah, here's my, you know, PSA 10 Yu-Gi-Oh card for Brunhild. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll throw up a picture on the screen uh, to show you a little bit closer up, but it's the character in the thumbnail, so yeah. But let's go ahead and get into this. I went ahead and bought this outfit for uh, her. We had some other options on the outfit front, but this is the one that I decided to go with because I thought it looked the best as they, you know... Of course, the day after I buy, they add a new outfit now. I don't think I like this one more anyway than, than the Enslar. But, of course, the day after, because I got on last night to make this character, so I'd be all ready to go. Of course, they make this character the, 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 the day after. I mean, they just, they just legitly knew, I guess. I don't know. But it's a good thing I don't like it more, because I would have been heated. I would have been big heated about that, but I don't like it more, so we're all Gucci. So, what I'm going to do is just simply do the normal crap that we usually do, which is just kind of go through here. I want to try, this is mostly going to be about relearning some stuff because I know they changed a lot of crap. So, I definitely need to go through and figure all of this out. Because right now, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit, um... I know they changed like the menuing and all of that different stuff like it's a little bit different from when I last played so I don't think there's like any massive changes or anything like that but I know there is like min there's like small changes here and there okay who the heck am I supposed to talk to here at the beginning um hello game this is Let's see here. Start the adventure. I guess I guess I guess the Black Spirit's the first part of the quest. I did not actually remember that. It's been a, it's been a while. Clearly, clearly it's been a while. But if you guys did not see the video yesterday, I go over where I've been the past month and a half and kind of where I've been um where I've been like the entire T of the last little bit like because I because I came back I talked about it yesterday but I came back for that little bit and I didn't really actually come back for all that long I came back for like eight videos and then I disappeared again so I did not want to loot the shrub but we're gonna loot it at this point but yeah the point is is that I kind of disappeared and I'm hoping to not disappear again I mean there's always that chance but goal is not to disappear and i can't examine is this the artifact it wants me to examine first of all yeah but this uh what if i get up here hello game this see this annoys me this laborer is like in the way or do i just talk to the worker ah ah see sure i don't remember see i don't remember this crap I feel like I had to examine the actual thing, not talk to the worker last time. But I might just be a moron. It's been a little while. Like I said, we got to get reused to this. And then I have to figure out some stuff. So obviously, there's there's a little, there you know, there's a little bit to this. There's, there's a whole thing to getting back into this game. Because as much as I love this game and I, re like, I remember how to play. There's no, like, oh, I don't remember how to play this game type levels of the game. But there's, like... Oh my god. Can you give me the quest, buddy? Thank you. I don't know why he wasn't giving me the quest. Okay, so now I need to go kill some foxes. Let's put the helmet on. And let's go kill some foxes. 
And then I will probably cut ahead and save you guys all the trouble of some of these, like, uh, ooh. Okay, I can, I can live with these. These combos are not that bad. Okay, I, I kind of like these. I mean, there hasn't been a character in this game that I really hated, except for I don't really like the punching characters. I'll try Mystic here eventually, but I don't like the Fist characters. They just haven't excited me, but... Okay, so that's interesting. The, uh... The kind of, I don't know, I guess I would call them the spammy attacks that I usually tend to do from time to time, but the spammy attacks don't look like they're the same on this character, which I kind of like. It's going to make me actually combo. Because usually the combos that, or the stuff that I did that was kind of spammy was the uh, LTRT. And on this character, that's not like a spammable... I mean, it's a spammable attack, but that's not really a spammable attack you want. Or back RB. That's not really a spammable attack. And back RT is not a spammable attack. So, I'm gonna have to actually do combos on this character. Which, I don't have a problem doing, but yeah. You guys you guys know my spammy ways if you've watched the channel for a while. You guys know I have, I have a bad habit of spamming attacks when I find one that works, which gets you through the game. I mean, I, I won't deny that it gets you through the game, but it does not overall, like, what am I trying to say? It doesn't, like, absolutely carry you in the end game. You can't just spam attacks in the end game and hope they work, because it just doesn't work like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get us to a more interesting spot. I mean, we've all seen the beginning of the game like a million times especially on my channel so i'm gonna get us to a more exciting portion of the game which i think will just get us to red nose and then i'll cut ahead at red nose to like goblins um but yeah i don't think i don't really think we need to see like all of this stuff anymore i mean i think combat's the most exciting thing as we progress through the game i, I gotta figure out a better route to take because i might just take the kill quest route this time or something like that to give us a little bit of a different vibe through the game. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a moment at a more exciting time and place. Alrighty, guys, we are back here. I think it's time to... Is it Das... Good old Dastard Beg is here. Interesting. I don't really want to get into that fight right now. But, uh, yeah, we are back to clean up this episode. Clean out the imps, kill Red Nose, and call it a day. Uh, and then, obviously, we'll set, we'll follow the traditional path usually that I follow, uh, which is pretty much like one to two bosses a video. I could do a boss rush, which is probably what I'll do later in the game, because there's some portions of this game that I really... The mid-game, from like level 32 to like 41, I hate that portion of this game. Um, I just don't like the area... Like, I like the areas you go to, but the kill quests take a while longer than I think they should. Maybe I'll show them, because I never do show them, so maybe I'll show them this time around. Uh, I haven't quite decided on that. I'm trying to kite. Did those guys aggro? Nope. <laughs> I've kind of figured out a little bit of combo stuff on the character, but like always, I like to get a little bit of levels before I start like really delving into combos and stuff like that. I'll get into them at a certain point, uh, probably not next episode, but the episode after that. I'm not going to wait as long as I was waiting on Tamer. Tamer, I was waiting to like level mid-40s, and that was just stupid. That's too long. At that point, I'm just button mashing. And I mean, at, on that character, I did have like good gear, which I need to remember to take off of that character. Because I don't need it on that character anymore. Probably at some point, I will return to the Tamer and get it to level 56, but... I wanted to make this return to videos by starting a brand new character because I because I feel like it was kind of lame to just kind of leave it off to like leave it off like that and then come back and continue that character. But this area I like I want a combo, but there's absolutely zero point to run a combo if there's one dude. Like, why am I gonna combo this dude in like next century? It's one dude. group I could combo a little bit more 
and I attracted another guy, which is nice. Okay, we're about halfway there. I'm gonna come down here. This is usually... Okay, is my character gonna jump? Down here is where I usually go because it's pretty much uncontested usually. As I say that, there's like everything is dead down here, but... A lot of the time, this area down here is just uncontested. No one comes down here. This time is a little different as everything down there is dead. Um, what do I want to do? Let's go over here. I don't love that this game makes you get 50 kills here, because it's a kid. I, I guess it's so that you can kind of learn the controls a little bit more, but it's such a highly contested area because it's such a beginning of the game that it's hard to get, like, you know, those quick mob kills and even to get the kills, um... To even get like full pack to pack kills is kind of hard because even when you think you got it someone can always come up and kind of like right here it's not really pack to pack when it's like four guys come here you you go back over here come on everybody and i i don't like doing this i don't like having to kite people like this this just kind of sucks because like this wizard didn't even kite correctly Okay, is it not gonna let me let me use the X thing? Is that on cooldown? I guess that has a long cooldown. Has like a 20 second cooldown. Um, okay. So there's four guys in here. Slash them all once. Come here. And this dude's gonna yoink kills. As long as I I think it's as long as you get first hit, you still get credit for the kill. I don't think they get credit for the kill if they don't hit it first, which is nice. Which kind of saves you from the, like, crazy yoinks where people, like, one-shot the dude when you're... You've done, like, all the work and there's they got one health left. That's, like, the worst type of yoink. Okay, come over here, buddy. And this dude is just following me. Like, bro, go get your own kills. It's already hard enough for us to get kills fighting each other, like... Go find another open area. Though that kill did count towards me, so you know what? If you want to follow me around and finish off guys that I attack, be my guest, bud. Be my guest. Three more kills to go. Guess we're just gonna RB spam these last three guys. I don't like how. I need to figure out what causes you to go into this, like, slow walking stance, because I don't like that. It's really, it's slow, and I don't want to do it. Like, So if I can avoid that, I definitely want to avoid that. Um, I'm going to come stand here, so if anything follows me over there, it should attack those two people before it attacks me. Uh, we got a Black Spirit gift. I can honestly tell you, not a huge fan of this change. Um, I think it's more streamlined like the PC, to be honest, but I think I like it better how they had it before. Um, I mean, it's not terrible, but I just don't think it's, like, super user-friendly on the console. There's, like, stuff on PC that they have that's like, yeah, okay, it makes sense on PC, but then there's a lot of stuff they carried over to console that's like, yeah, this doesn't make any sense. Like, we have a controller, not like a mouse, and we don't have a million buttons. Like, okay, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta simplify some crap for us. And... Some of the stuff, they, they did have a lot of it simplified in a really good way, and then I think they changed a lot of it to mirror PC. Which I don't think they should have done, but that's just me. It's always hard to transfer a game that's predominantly meant for PC to console. Like, I, I'll give them that. And I we're not even, like, caught up. We're, we're, like, partially caught up with PC, I think. We're still missing content, but... We're mostly caught up with PC. So we're only just getting to, like, the phases of, okay, we've caught you up to PC, now what changes do we need to make to the game to make it more console-friendly? Because that's kind of where we are. We're in, like, the stages of, okay, let's get this console-friendly for everyone. At least that's my opinion. I think I think they're, they're trying to figure out, like, okay, so console... Really? I trapped that thing in the rock. I hit him to, I hit him into the rock, bro. Come here. I can't believe I hit him into the rock.
Okay, so what do we need? We need six more steel imps and three more steel imp warriors. Okay. I gotta get better at some of these combos. They're a little bit... They're a little tricky for me. I don't think I have the timing quite down on them, which is a issue. I'm gonna have to figure out. I mean, obviously, these probably aren't the basic combos that I'm gonna be using. I need to find... I need to do what I did on my sort, which I haven't been doing on any character except Archer. I think I did it on Archer. I have to figure out a rotation and just run the rotation. Like, on my Sork, I have a rotation. Okay, I do my rotation, that's the end of that. I mean, by the time I get done with my rotation, it's time to do it again. So it's like, yeah, I have a set combos. We're not trying to, like, integrate some weird, like, 50 combos into one, at, like, into one rotation. We have a rotation, we do that rotation, and, and that's the end of it. I have some other stuff that I can incorporate into the rotation, but overall, there's a set base rotation. And it's that simple. So I, I think I need to do that with characters from now on. I try to, like, incorporate too much stuff or too little stuff now. And I think it just leads to, like, stupidity, essentially. That just leads to, like, some stupid stuff. And it just leads to me looking dumb because I'm not doing a real combo. I'm kind of just... I'm kind of just jacking around, not doing anything, anything useful, to be fair. So I think if I just need... Like, right here, I, why is it in this, like... I guess if you just hold L2, T, it does that sprint forward, and then you can run. I guess that's what it does. But when you're slow walking with your shield up, like, this is so slow. I don't know. But point is, is that I need to just set a rotation, get that rotation down, and roll with the rotation. I think I spend way too much time just messing around, not learning a rotation, and then it's just stupid because I'm just doing pointless crap. So, I think... Okay. So, we need to summon Red Nose. I think... Um, I'm trying to decide. I'm looking at my... Sorry, I was looking at my level, not paying attention to the game. Um, I think... Maybe level 30. I'll try to figure out and nail down a rotation. Um, I'll take an episode... I'll take an episode maybe in, like, practice. There's a couple of areas with a lot of good enemies to fight. So, I'll probably take an opportunity at one of those places to create the rotation. And then we can practice the rotation, go over it, figure it out, decide exactly what the heck I want to do. So, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably wait for one of those. I think, maybe it's like mid-20s, I think, like the castle area. That might be the place to do it at. Alright, Red Nose. I mean, like, I have some combos here, but they're not, like, super in-depth. I mean, I can't say that I'm, like, super-duper, like, comboed out. But I do have, like, a combo that I can do. Mostly just stems around that, like, piercing forward attack that does the, like, light piercing forward. That's kind of, like, the only attack that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Just be safe. Don't want to die. I do really love the boss fights in this game. I kind of wish they were a little bit more difficult. I mean, like, if you don't have an upgraded weapon, I will say they're a lot more difficult. So I think this attack, yeah, that... That's actually pretty nice. I think it pierces through him. So, like, when he was laying down there, I think it pierced through him. And there we go. Destroyed Red Nose. Let's bring out the good old Black Spirit as I'm going to get hit here and knocked out of my animation. I'm going to run right here. Hopefully nothing follow. Uh, of course, there's a Steel Imp following me. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Bro, just had to follow me over here. Die. Okay. I think we're good. I think no one else is going to bother us now. Grab the Black Spirit gift quest. Complete that. And then, compliments of a veteran. Alright, so let's turn this in, and then I will just run over to where we need to get to. Um, because I want to get a weapon, and so we're going to do that on camera. I'm not going to get, like, a crazy weapon. We're just going to get, like, the ultimate steed, and then we'll upgrade as we go. Why well, I am on standby mode. Hello? Pop these. 
Hello. Um, game. Thank you. It would not. I was clicking in the button and it would not go into standby mode. Okay, there we go. So, there is that. I will do this on my own. But, uh, yeah, it was good first episode. I mean, simply we're just going to run over here and get a weapon. So, if you don't care about that, I will see you guys in the next episode. But, um, good episode back. I have missed this, to be honest. Uh, I really haven't been playing that much video games to begin with. I've been playing a lot of Tarkov and Call of Duty recently. Uh, like I mentioned in my video yesterday. Um, but overall, I have not been you know, doing a whole lot in terms of playing video games, because I've been so heavily focused on my gambling stuff and getting that going. Like I said, if you didn't see yesterday's video, um, it explains a lot. It's a short video. It's like seven minutes. Uh, if you wondered anything about me or what the heck I've been doing, that's the video you kind of want to watch, because um, it just tells you simple stuff about what the heck that I was doing the past, like, month. It's not super exciting. It's not a super exciting video, but it does inform you about the, you know, the different crap. And funny enough, okay, I'm, you guys know I was in a clan for a while, or a guild for a while, clan, guild, for a while. And it's actually Rogue's Gallery was the guild that I was in, so it's kind of funny that that person is there. But obviously I took all that time off from playing the game, so obviously I got the boot from the guild. But uh, yeah, I was in Rogue's Gallery for a while, and kind of funny that that person was there. Okay, so... Let's hit up the auction house real quick, take a look at the weapons, and then we'll all get out of here. So what weapon do I use? Is it just a short sword? Uh, yeah, it's just a long sword. Okay. Hit up the central market. I believe I should... Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff that's sold. Uh, that's actually a decent amount of money. But uh, yeah, I have like 365 million. Um, I'm going to need to get on my tamer and sell that weapon, but let's see here. So long sword... Um, could I, I could afford a Kazarka. What could I afford? I could afford a Duo Kazarka if I wanted to for this character. I could I could buy a Duo Kazarka. But no, we just want uh, something that I would normally be able to afford. And that, is there no Ultimate Steed? Yeah, there it is, Ultimate Steed. We just want an Ultimate Steed. Nice and cheap, 14k. 14.4k uh, is the cheapest one. Let's go ahead and purchase that and take it out. I guess I had a callus there. I could have just used that. But there we go. So we picked up the ultimate steed. I'm not even going to pick up an extra shield. I just wanted a little bit better weapon. And I would have bought the ultimate steed anyway. So we might as well just pick it up now. Uh, it's cheap. And it's a really good weapon for the beginning of the game. We'll go over what I'm going to do later in the game. Purchase wise. I might go crazy. I don't know. I need to figure out if I like this character or not. Um, I, I need to pick like a second character to play. Uh, that's kind of the main thing that i'm working on right now but uh that's gonna do it guys in the next episode i will probably get us to goblins and then i will start the next episode at goblins uh so i hope you guys enjoyed drop a big like if you did subscribe if you have not and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out